Hi everybody, welcome back to the Data Family. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're returning, hey family, I have my Aldi grocery haul to share with you guys. For those of you that are new, I do once a month grocery shopping here. We shop at Aldi and my local discount grocery store called Grocery Outlet. A lot of you have asked where we are located. I am located in Southern California. But guys, I went into Aldi and I spent $250 and I feel like I just didn't get that much. Let me know down in the comments below if you feel like your grocery prices are slowly creeping up or let me know if my prices are good or bad. I just don't feel like I'm getting as much as I used to for the amount of money that I spend. I did pick up a lot more meat than I usually would, so that might have been it. But I'm going to get started, show you guys what I found, try to give you prices, and let you know what I'm going to use it for. So we did always, this is always a repurchase. This is my pile of tortillas. I picked up the Romero's. 30 count corn tortillas. These are always $1.29. I have enchilada casserole and enchiladas and tacos and all those goodies on the meal plan. I also always pick these up for the kids. They love these for quesadillas. And they're like the perfect lunch size. And you get 24 of these for $2.15. And then I always, always repurchase these. I know I've heard mixed reviews on them, but my hubby actually likes them. He says they're just as good as the name brand ones, if not better. And they're $1.99 and they freeze good. So I picked up four of those to have on hand because I do breakfast burritos and things like that for him with those too. Two pound package of spaghetti um, for $1.49. And then they had these. These looked really good. Um, like I said, I'm not a big sweet person because I am diabetic, but everybody in my family absolutely loves mint and chocolate together. So these are just, I guess, the Aldi's version of the fudge stripes just in mint. And these are $1.49. I think they're seasonal too picked up two of the love and fresh english muffins we always make uh breakfast sandwiches like egg mcmuffins on the weekend and those are 115. this is a repurchase the kids actually really love the pop village crunchy puff sticks they're just like the little sweet and puff rice that kind of reminds me of the honey smacks cereal just compressed into a little stick and not as sweet um those are i think these are 129. Protein yogurts were $2.99. You get four of them, and I want to see if these are comparable to the name brand uh, Chiobani ones. So hopefully they are. I think, what is it, the Chiobani Zero? If they are, then I will repurchase this. We've never had these before, so I'm crossing my fingers that they're good. And then I did pick up two of the lunch mate, um grilled chicken strips. This is just to throw on a salad. Quick, easy meal prep. Um, I got it in the Southwestern and the Original. And these are $2.99. I know it's probably a little cheaper just to make the chicken myself, but like I said, some days you just don't want to do things from scratch. And then I also picked up the queso fresco. That is going to be for some tacos. I'm going to make potato tacos, and I, that's the kind of cheese that I like on it, and that is $2.25 for that. A thing of Mexican-style cheese, this was $2.85. And a thing of mozzarella cheese for $3.89 because we are back to making homemade pizzas again. And I've never tried the Simply Nature baked uh, pea snacks. I usually get the name brand, but these were only $1.57, so I thought it was worth giving it a try. Everybody in my family loves these kind of things. So I did pick it up in the Caesar and in the, the original. I can speak, you guys, I promise. I've been trying to get this video done for a minute, so forgive me. But I did pick it up in the original. We have nachos on our, excuse me, I lost counter space because I did pick up an ice machine at Best Buy, but and that was a good investment, guys. I did pick up the restaurant style tortilla strips, and it's the same brand as the um, tortillas, and these were $2.69. And then I also picked up, if I can grab them, the Fit and Active Cheddar Cheese Rice Snacks. These were $2.69. I want to see if they are just as good as the Quaker Oats ones. They had the cheese it Now, my oldest daughter absolutely loved these when she was little. These were $1.59. They are the name brand ones, but they are the hot and spicy one. But I just realized they're not the ones I used to get her. I used to get her the ones that was with Tabasco sauce. So I don't know if she's going to like these or not. But if not, I'm sure everybody will snack on them. But $1.59 for those. $1.09, guys. Remember these used to be like $0.85? Cents? Not anymore. These are $1.09, so they have gone up quite a bit. And I love them you know wheat thin type crackers i do have a lot of homemade lunchables on the menu so i got the vegetable rounds this time to kind of like change it up a little bit and those are a dollar 69. always a repurchase i couldn't recommend this salad dressing more it is an amazing marinade it's just good all the way around and it does taste just like the olive garden and for a dollar 59 you really can't beat it so i picked up two of those then they have the fish fry 
which was 129 and I do have some cod that I want to use that on. And they had the chicken fry, and I've never seen these at Aldi before, so I don't know if they are new or not. So we are going to give that a go to try to make some fish and chips and some chicken strips. Then they had Chiobani, and I've never seen Aldi have Chiobani before, and this was like $4.68, and it's the big 32 ounce. This is one of my favorite yogurts besides the Greek gods. I do love the Greek god yogurts. And then they had this on sale, and this is just the oven roasted um, turkey breast portion. This was half off. It was like originally, what was it, $8.57. So this was like $4 and some change, and this makes amazing salads. Chop it up and just it's really good so pick that up what else do we got going here i did pick up some cinnamon sticks um we are going to be making homemade horchata so these were 265 for a little bag like that not too bad always a repurchase is the salsa con queso this was a dollar 95 the kids wanted some popcorn salt so we did get them the stone mill nacho cheese this is a dollar 79 can of black beans because yes i can make a batch of beans which I have been making homemade beans but I only need a small amount so I just picked up a can for 46 cents two tomato set uh, paste for 39 cents each and three of the tomato sauces and these were 26 cents each no 30 I think these are their 36 cents maybe I have to, I'd have to go back and look but no nope they're 26 I just looked 26 cents each and this is to make um, my Spanish rice Two of my diced tomatoes, I always keep this on hand, so anytime I use it, I just replenish it, and those are 65 cents each. Um, the sweetened condensed milk was $1.29, and the evaporated milk was 89 cents. That is to go into the horchata. I just picked up one vanilla almond milk for $1.95. Two half and halves at $1.89. I use that in my coffee instead of creamer now. And then I know somebody, one of you guys had told me to try the German coffee and I never came across it at Aldi and I finally saw it so I did get it in the regular ground it is a fair trade coffee for $5.25 so if I like it I will stock up on it because you guys know I love my coffee just a sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce we have ribs on the menu a heavy whipping cream for homemade oh the sweet baby Ray's is $2.24 um, the whipping cream is $3.89 and this is going to be for homemade Alfredo Always a repurchase. This was $7.36. This is the Never Any Honey Smoked Uncured Ham. I use this to make a lot of the hubby's breakfast things like egg cups, omelets, all kinds of stuff. This goes really good. And you can actually have it for dinner and put it in with like some pasta and some peas. That's also good too. Um, butter. I needed two salted and one unsalted. And the it's funny because they were a penny difference. This was $2.25 for the unsalted and the salted butters were $2.24. So I think that's it. So now I'm going to get into the meat. I bought a ton of meat, but if you go back to my last month grocery haul, I didn't really pick up that much meat because I really didn't need it. And now I used up what we had in the freezer. So it's time just to refill it back up. But they had an amazing deal on ground sirloin. This is the 90 10, 10.32, 50% off, 5.16 for almost two and a half pounds. And that's an amazing deal, especially for 90 10. So I picked up two of those, and I will get two meals out of each of that. Move these over here real quick. And then I did pick up some pork chops for $6.99. And then I'm going to be making beef and broccoli, and this was $10.24 for beef chuck steak. This is just the thin cut. And then two packs of the chicken leg meat. This one was $4.10. This one was $5.85. And then I did pick up a pack of drums for $3.15. That's an amazing deal right there. So those we got. Okay, and then I have another tower of meat here. And you have to excuse the time of day. I do have a little bit of glare. This was something I've never seen at my Aldi. And I know I've seen other people haul it before. This is the Beef Shaved Steak by Old Neighborhood. I want to make some Philly cheesesteaks for a nice little lunch this weekend. So $5.25 and you get... It doesn't say how much you get, does it? Uh, 14 ounce, so a little under a pound, and that's quite a bit. I always pick up the carne asada from Aldi. It's just, it's decent. It's not the best carne asada, but it was where I'm at, and I didn't really want to go hunting for it. So this one is 11.60, and this one was 10.83. 
Um, mom, mom, mom. This was always a repurchase. My store hasn't had it in stock for a while. I was excited to find it. This is the Citrus Chicken Breast, and it's $5.23. Absolutely love this for tacos and quesadillas. And to make carne asada fries, we just got the seasoned beef, and this is $6.20. And like I said, my kids love that too. $4.55 for the chicken crispy strips. My kids like this. They say it's just as good as the restaurant chicken strips. And that's it as far as that. And then the rest is produce. I do have a 10-pound bag of potatoes that was $2.69 that I forgot in the car. So I will have to remember to bring that in. Two bags of frozen broccoli for the beef and broccoli. I was trying to get fresh broccoli heads and it just looked ugly. So I'm just going to use that. And those are 89 cents each. A thing of cilantro for 29 cents because we make our fresh pico de gallo and our fresh salsa. Um, $1.56 for three zucchinis. I am going to do a stir fry with those. Coleslaw was $1.09. I just make an egg roll in a bowl, but I make it into a soup and I absolutely love it. Um, sweet onions. I almost forgot where I was. $2.29. They have gone up a little bit. The honey gold miniature potatoes. This is just for a recipe. Um, to do a roast with and these are kind of spendy i got a 10 pound bag for about the price of this one this one is actually more it was like 3.89 for these little guys the cucumbers are ginormous um these were 29 cents each so those will be for the fresh pico de gallo because i do put cucumber in my pico de gallo and for salads then i picked up lemons they had lemons for 99 cents and i'm kicking myself in the behind for not doing it because two pounds of lemons for a buck is a really good deal Thing of celery for a dollar fifteen, just to have like ants on a log. And it, have you guys picked this up? And I ripped it when I was putting it in the cart. It wasn't open beforehand. Two ninety five for romaine hearts because we are going to do salad wraps. And yes, I went to go film my Brussels sprout recipe for you guys, and the kids had already ate them, so I repurchased them. I'm going to be trying to do a video, guys, to share with you my Brussels sprout recipe because it's really good. And hopefully I actually I'm gonna probably do it in the next two days to make sure that I can film it for you guys. But these are $2.89 a bag. I got a three what is this? A three pound bag of apples for $2.99. $3.49 for the peaches and for the plums. $1.56 for cabbage. $2.17 for the blackberry. So we picked up two of those. $4.99 for the sweet globe grapes. We picked yeah, it's expensive, but the other grapes were pretty gnarly looking, and my kids really wanted grapes, so $4.99 for those. And these are amazing strawberries. These were $2.27. I don't know if you guys can see. Look how big these strawberries are. They're absolutely beautiful. So I did pick up two of those. I'm going to be doing yogurt parfaits with these, and I think like one strawberry is like going to be one meal. These berries are beautiful and huge. And two bags of the vine tomatoes. They were a dollar fifteen a bag, but there was a limited two. But this makes the best salsa hands down. So that is what I got for two hundred and fifty bucks. Oh, I lied. I did grab a bunch of bananas. They're super green, so I had them over there getting ready. And those were a dollar and some change for that bunch of bananas. So that's what I picked up uh, for Aldi this month. I do have a grocery outlet haul coming up for you guys where I got some really amazing deals and actually picked up some produce. I was really shocked that they had some pretty produce at the grocery outlet. So if you like these kind of videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when we upload new videos. And as always, family, don't forget to be kind, inspire, be inspired, and I will see you soon with another video. Bye, guys.